In the current state of things in the PC industry, especially the video card industry, things are really kind of on the whack side. I mean, as much as I love to be totally excited about technology and go crazy, I admit that the RTX thing, even though a lot of things were cool, was a mixed bag. I mean, I think the really main thing about the launch is that none of us were really expecting what would happen. Everybody's like, okay, it's just gonna be all about frames per second like it always is. But then all of a sudden, you know, Nvidia like took like a left turn. Everybody's like, because it's something different. I mean, usually when NVIDIA releases something, you know, you uh, get to use the technology right when it comes out, unlike RTX, which, you know, people are still kind of going, okay, well, when is all this RTX going to be here? And there's some other features and stuff, you know, everybody's going, okay, well, when is all this stuff really going to become real time? Now, on the other side of the coin, where in the Sam Heck is AMD? And, I, and I'm going to tell you, in the news for the AMD side of things, it's really very, very disappointing. So first of all, if you're looking for any kind of really new technology on the AMD side, um, you're, you're looking at Q2 of 2019. And you can say, oh, well, Rick, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. But trust me, on this one, I ain't wrong. All right, got an inside source. <laughs> so I'm telling you right now, you ain't gonna see anything new until Q2 of 2019. But however, however, and is it really gonna matter, there will be a Polaris refresh. Oh my God, a Polaris refresh. Oh my God, they're gonna take the chip, they're gonna change it a little bit, re-release it and change, you know, and charge you more money probably too. Hmm, interesting stuff. But there will be a Polaris refresh, 12 nanometer Polaris refresh. Probably what you're going to see is just the clock speeds, you know, and stuff going up a little bit. And that's really going to be it, you know, from 1400 probably to like 1500 is probably what you're going to see, you know, and those are the kind of numbers, which honestly, huh, that's really sad. I mean, let's just face it. Most of the cards right now on the NVIDIA side, unless you want to buy some of the old generation cards, you're pretty much, you know, paying an arm and a leg, which kind of makes people go, man, you know, where is AMD? Where is the competition? And when AMD isn't competition, that's really, really bad for the market. I mean, come on, a Polaris refresh? That's what we're gonna get this year from AMD? That's the excitement? Oh boy. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. You're gonna see a lot of the major card companies out there. They're not even gonna bother making cards. <laughs> I mean, honestly, trust me on this. When stuff comes out, there are going to be some of the major people that you usually see making the AMD cards who are probably going to just totally pass on this refresh and say, you know what, we'll just wait. You know, we've got 580s, we've got all these other cards, they're doing fine on the market, we can sell them for pretty cheap and do all that. So, you know, why, you know, waste your, you know, your time and your investment investing in something that's really not all that great? I mean, obviously, people will jump on board with it because it's like, okay, well, you know, um, if you're a starving person, you're gonna eat something that you normally wouldn't eat, you know, if you had a full belly, right? So some people be just like desperate. It's like, oh my God, anything from AMD just to get it here from AMD? We need some from AMD, okay, well, let's just do this. But in reality, that really kind of sucks. It really does suck. So, I mean, honestly, do any of you guys out there really, really honestly care about a Polaris refresh? I mean, is that really super duper exciting news for you? I mean, are you going to be jumping and running down the street going, yes, there's another Polaris card coming? <laughs> Probably not, but you know, it will be coming out. So we're going to see a nice Polaris refresh pretty soon from the folks at AMD. Now, another thing that really kind of sucks too is that when they made the Vega 56 and the Vega 64, they really didn't make all that many chips. And unfortunately, they didn't make other cards based on that same technology. I mean, it would have been nice to see, you know, some lower end cards, you know, that were like, you know, pretty much entry level and stuff that were just super duper affordable, but still played games right. But unfortunately, the Vega 56 and the Vega 64, it's there and it's gone and that's it. And so now you're going to have to wait all the way until 2019, till a quarter two, to really see anything hit the market from AMD. So, I mean, really, NVIDIA could have pretty much, honestly, this is the straight up truth, they didn't need to release anything. They didn't have to release jack diddly doo doo. Because with AMD, 
not releasing anything on the video card side of things and focusing right now really strictly on their CPU side of things, which is a whole nother story. Um, obviously, you guys have seen the dude from Gamers Nexus. He's talked about it. Like Things are really getting super duper close on the, on the CPU side of things between AMD and Intel. So right now, AMD is really hot on that, which is kind of the AM, you know, AMD style. Whatever is they think is hot at the moment is what they focus all their attention on. Well, unfortunately, though, this is putting a giant gap in the video card market. I mean, the RTX launch and pretty much Nvidia just being able to go, you know what? Let's do something just totally crazy right now because what's AMD going to do about it? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, they just release it and we're like, hey, okay, cool. Let's experiment and see how people uh, react to this. You know, the prices are crazy. The technology is um, not even really totally mature yet. But guess what? All those cards sold and they're selling, 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 you know. But for the AMD fans and the people who don't have a lot of money and just are really loyal AMD folks, you know, right now they're kind of getting bent over by AMD. AMD should be concentrating on their video card side of the thing as much as the CPU side of things. Just because the CPU thing is getting hot for them, it doesn't mean that you need to leave the other part of your business really being unattended to. You know what I mean? I mean, if you raise chickens, you don't leave the door open with a box to come in. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why AMD is doing it. Obviously, I guess they think that the, the CPU thing right now is what's, you know, the almighty everything to compete with the big, you know, the big blue giant of Intel. But uh, I wish there was more stuff. Honestly, I know you do as well. So let me know. Do you guys really care about a Polaris refresh? Because honestly, I don't. I think it's kind of lackluster. It's a little bit, you know, too little, too late. I want something new. I want something fast. And I want something that can actually compete with NVIDIA. Come on. AMD, quit letting us down. Release some new video cards. Pour some money. Get some people and fix that stuff. CPUs are cool, but hey, video cards are what gamers love to sink their teeth into.